Coming to next question, in competitive inhibition, the relation of Km and Vmax is. So, competitive inhibition, non-competitive inhibition and uncompetitive inhibition. These are the three types of enzyme inhibition. Now, we see what are the three types of enzymes inhibition. Competitive means... As the name says, it competes with the substrate for the site to attach to the enzyme. So, if this is an enzyme, this is an enzyme, substrate binds here. So, in competitive inhibition, the inhibitor will also bind here at the same site as the substrate. In non-competitive inhibition, this is a substrate binding site. Non-competitive means it is not competing with the substrate. So, it will bind at some other site, say for this site and induce some conformational change in the enzyme. So, that automatically the binding to the substrate and the reaction is reduced. And uncompetitive inhibition means it binds only to the enzyme substrate complex only to the enzyme substrate complex together, not to the enzyme itself. So, it is uncompetitive inhibition. Now, coming to Km and Vmax, what do they indicate? Km is, just remember that Km is inversely proportional to affinity between substrate and enzyme and Vmax, as the name says, it is the maximum velocity of the reaction which can be reached after the substrate binds to the enzyme. So, when I say Km is inversely proportional to affinity, so if Km increases, what does it mean? If it is inversely proportional, the affinity will decrease. And if Km decreases, the affinity will increase. So, any inhibition affinity will decrease or increase for the substrate, obviously it will decrease. So, Km will increase or remain constant, but it will not decrease. Now, amongst these, if we see that it is the competitive inhibition which is competing with the substrate and that is why decreasing the affinity of the substrate for the enzyme. So, affinity is decreasing. So, Km is increasing. In non-competitive inhibition, the inhibitor is not binding to the substrate site anyways. That is why it is free. So, the affinity is not affected. So, Km is same. Now, Vmax, if you see here in competitive, when you increase the concentration of the substrate in much excess of the inhibitor, it will remove this inhibitor and the substrate will come here and the reaction will go on. So, the Vmax remains same and here if you see the Vmax will decrease because even if you increase the substrate concentration, the uh, inhibitor is still bound to the enzyme. So, Vmax is anyways decreased. So, in competitive inhibition, it is the affinity which is decreased that is the Km which is increased and in the non-competitive, the affinity is the same. It is the Vmax which is decreased. To remember in an easy way, competitive, write it like KO. So, in competitive, it is the Km which is affected. So, Km obviously increases, that is affinity decreases and Vmax remains same. And in uncompetitive, both decrease. Km, Vmax, both are decreased. So, competitive, K, Km is affected. So, Km increased and Vmax same. In non-competitive, affinity is same. So, Km is same, but the velocity is decreased. So, the answer to the fourth MCQ would be, in competitive inhibition, Km increases and Vmax is same. So, option B.